everybody, Invisible Katana here with my review for Season 2, Episode 3 of The Bad Batch, Solitary Clone. Of course, this episode focuses a lot on Crosshair, and also we get a, an amazing guest appearance by, of course, Cody here, which is why I whipped out my figure. Um, obviously, in this, he's in his Attack, not Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith outfit, and we got to see him in gray. I'm sure Hot Toys is super excited that they can just literally have this figure and then just color it different and then make like 238 bucks or something off of just that, because people are going to buy it. Like, it's Cody but in a different costume. Also, there's gonna be a lot of customs because it's just a paint, it's just a paint, but they're gonna put it out for sure. Anyway, thought it was a great episode. Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here with my review for season two, episode three. Jeez. <laughs> everybody invisible katana here with my review for season two episode three of the bad batch solitary clone so this episode of course focuses mostly on crosshair but considering how it's split between two main characters of course i had to get cody out here obviously this is cody revenge of the sith this is when he first turns and everything like that and we get to see him come back and he's in gray i'm sure hot toys is just having a field day with that one because they can put out another 238 dollar figure and just make it gray and plus a lot of people missed out on cody so it was great to see cody as soon as he walked up to him i was like it's cody and then of course he takes off the helmet and i was like this this is really cool like it was interesting to see and of course the way they handled it i thought was really fun too because it was like okay so cody's a villain let's see how things play out obviously crosshair decided to stay that way they also referenced how long he stayed on that platform at the end because i think i mentioned that in my review back then i was like they left him but everybody's dead like they won't you know at some point i'm sure they would check but it was one of those things where i was like would they really do it though and apparently they did after like i think he said 32 rotations so after a little over a month he finally got picked up went back to doing his thing he's still hated by all the other clones but he was chosen for this mission of course by cody himself and they're doing the classic villain thing and i love the way this entire episode was handled yet another great episode that makes me think man they should really do like a stormtrooper or clone trooper just full-on series where it's them doing stuff this episode also made me wish that the bad batch actually started before order 66 i think that actually would have been a, a much wiser choice for this series but obviously they had a very specific story they were telling but seeing what crosshair does in this i'm like i would have loved a really hard-hitting action clone trooper series where especially if it was like you know the bad batch which i think everyone was hoping that anyway even with the story that they have the missions could be the same and they norm you know they weren't as much as i think we all wanted them to be in you know season one so i was like man it'd be cool to have a show like that because this episode crosshair was like he shoots down the barrel of a tank and blows it up also that obviously connects all the separatist stuff which is really cool and i i don't get enough time to talk about this because it rarely comes up jordicas are super op and everyone should use them all the time i was like it just it, realistically it makes absolutely no sense that they would get rid of these things for clone troopers like i, I know that there was you know there was money and this and that and secret powers and all that but i'm like at some point cities had to be like you know i know i'm using everybody against everybody but that specific thing the rolling turrets with shields on them maybe keep those everything else can go but maybe we should just keep those because clearly they're amazing they're like absolute perfection i love they're like one of my favorites for sure but they're definitely my favorite like thing that they did for the separatists was definitely the droidicus but it was great to see them come back they were a huge challenge and i was like makes me love the episode even more they had to do teamwork so cody throws a sticky bomb onto the droid he gets hit he falls back through the shield slowly and then blows up within the shield and i was like that's genius that is, that's such a cool way to do that but they always have to do like cool tactical stuff when they fight those characters or those you know specific types of enemies and i love seeing them every single time because everyone always has to strategize it's like okay well we can't do that we can't just throw stuff at it because it'll just bounce right off i think maybe they probably did a couple of times because their main thing is for clone wars you can still go through a shield just like how they showed with the droid it just has to be slow so if you roll a grenade or a thermal detonator of course you roll a thermal detonator as long as it's slow enough it'll just phase right through and it's like i love seeing when they have to come up against those challenges but just in the world as a you know as a whole or the galaxy i guess all of star wars droidicus epically op the other droids sure they're dumb and they're flimsy well, you know whatever that's fine but droidicus are like Perf absolute perfection they even had like you know kind of the hunter droids i don't know what those specific ones are called but the ones that are like you know on the stairwell those are great too but droidicus they have shields like you, all you got to do send out like 50 of those everybody's dead that's everything's fine but anyway 
loved how the action played out throughout the episode apparently uh squad two had like no problems they showed up at the end they set a droid on fire and they just walked through it was like i don't think any of them suffered in any way shape or form they seemed like they were just op over wherever they were but of course crosshair and cody they're losing people they're going through the droidicas they're going up like the the sterile i thought was a really cool way to do that where it's a spiral sterile and then they get kind of pinched on both sides and then crosshair is like all right i'm gonna just throw these little um sticky reflective discs and i'll just pop them off and they have like this epic slow-mo shot where it's like just throw the thing as far as you can and he's basically just staring through these things just waiting until the thing just happens to flip at the right angle and then he does a double shot which i thought was super cool because it was like the first one's gonna hit everything but he has to make sure it all you know everything travels through and he double shots it and it's just doo -doo -doo -doo, and it kills the the like commander droid and i was like that looks so cool but technically they're the bad guys the whole episode and that's all they're doing and i was like this is a good episode i love when they do stuff like that where it's like oh man you know especially because it's cody so we know him as a good guy especially if you watch clone wars obviously if it was just the movies it was like it was the dude in yellow and that was pretty much it but clone wars wise like we know a lot of these clones any clone that has a name at this point typically came from clone wars like few of them are actually brand new characters so I thought it was really well done how they were handling that and then of course they get to the end they get to the woman they get to I guess the general or the, whoever the guy was that was being held hostage and Cody tries to make it work he's like look let's do this for your people he was doing it you know the peaceful way and then I was like all right kill her now and then he's trying to have this moment and he pauses and I was like are they really going to do that because I don't I don't remember if he was one of the clones in Rebels I don't think he was I think it was just Rex during that time um, and I forgot who the other two were. So one of them could have easily been Cody. And I just forgot because it's been so long since I watched that. All I really remember is like, I know Rex was one, but there are also two others. One of them might have been Cody. I don't remember. But either way, this was a really good episode. And then they kind of just go on with it at the end because I thought they would kind of, you know, draw it out a little. And it was like, oh, yeah, he went AWOL. Like just the end of the episode, he's already gone. And I was like, cool. So that's that's fast tracking it. And I love that. I was like, I, I would much rather it be sooner rather than later to see an epic moment like that. And they could have cody and rex team up you know like i'm just saying you know like cody could go back to this armor like rex kept his stuff so he stays like in his outfit like all the time he wears like that cloak but underneath it's like just a dude full <laughs> you know in a full-on clone trooper armor um they could do the same thing he could be like all right you know this is what i did when i fought for the empire ditching this going back to my old colors you know i'm back so we might see them teaming up again there, i know there's something that's going to happen where rex calls them in but maybe they'll save it for like a season finale moment or something we might see ahsoka in this i still think it's in there for sure that we're going to end up seeing her um we might see you know rex and cody team up again that would be very cool and so you know who knows what else but i think ahsoka is almost like a guarantee uh especially because you know rex once you hit rex is like ahsoka's like right there so we'll see what ends up happening but definitely love this uh I, well, third episode but I, i'm looking forward to the rest of the season so far it's been really fun obviously it's only been you know three episodes two of which were basically just you know part one and part two so it was just one long story that had time to breathe so i'm like we'll see what happens when we get back to the you know the actual bad batch itself and then the 30 minute you know kind of episodes that we get from them we'll see how it plays out i'm i want to be hopeful of course that i enjoyed this season more than the last season because it was definitely like it wasn't as epic I, I think you know as epic as any of us really wanted it to be so i'm hoping you know season two definitely picks it up and we get even if it's a lot of standalone stuff hopefully they're just intense like this episode and if it's you know doesn't have time to breathe if it's a shorter episode it can still be as good as the you know the first two because even if they cut some stuff out of that i think that still would have been a really entertaining episode to see the team split up and stuff so more unique dynamics obviously omega hasn't really had the opportunity to fight so we'll actually see a lot of that so hopefully things you know get mixed up and they kind of swap around like the characters that pair off and split and team up a lot i think it's great for just action wise because we've got to see the characters think and figure out how to use their skills to survive and it gives all the characters more individual time to kind of have a conversation so being hopeful i think it'll be good i'm sure i'll enjoy it for the most part at least either way i'm sure i'll enjoy it for the most part but We'd love to know your thoughts on this episode, so please put your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, your least favorite parts about it. What do you guys want to see? I think I asked that you know, in the premiere, but it's the same thing. You know, who's going to show up? It's Let's face it, there's going to be a cameo. Rex, we already know. I think Ahsoka is the next step. Um, so we'll see what happens. Who knows? But we'd love to know your thoughts on that, so please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.